Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading and it will be for June 2021 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. Let's get straight into the reading and pull your cards. I fancied a different spread for this month so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides in money and career. June 2021. What should Aries expect and need to know? Okay. Okay, Aries. Okay, Aries, so <laughs> you're moving towards greater abundance. I definitely feel in this energy, there is a lovely energy with the Ten of Pentacles of goal achievement, greater financial abundance, not just for you, but for to be valued by you, the people that matter to you and so on and so forth. This can be a card of legacy, family, you know, co committed relationships. But you can see those pentacles are raining down, you know, overlooking the family, uh, generations of the family in that card. So it feels like a beautiful energy here coming your way. Um, the Six of Swords is a card of moving from troubles to karma waters, karma times ahead. You're going in the right direction. Um, it definitely feels, I mean, sometimes with the Six of Swords, you're heading in the right direction, but you might not be there, you know, at the end you know at the end of june but definitely there's an energy here of um absolutely heading towards karma times it is a card of change it's a card of healing it's a card of transition this can also involve moving or relocating as well for some of you for home jobs but certainly with the ten of pentacles it is a card of long-term financial stability security success it's a lovely lovely energy it's a card of wealth coming your way and I definitely feel in this situation Aries that's what the energy is now in your foundation we have news so some news information conversation can be an energy of connections opportunity even sometimes this is at a distance which is why some of you might be relocating um, this can also be to do with the online internet as well for me as a reader. But nevertheless, this is about big change. Some news that brings change, a conversation, information coming your way that is allowing you to start putting troubles behind you and moving in the right direction towards what this Ten of Pentacles appears to be. Now, yes, this can be a card of goal achievement, but for some of you, it feels like you'll be just heading in the right direction. The past, we have the two of wands, some clear choices and decisions that you've made about your future. It feels in this situation, what you've been taking action towards will pay off. And I love the energy here because you can see those wands. This is one person choosing what they want and what they don't want, their path forward. Um, there's also an anticipating energy as well of this um, Aries because it is um, the Mars in Aries, your natural ruler in your sign. So this is about the steps that you've been taking here. The unknown, you can anticipate what's coming your way. They might not quite be there yet. Again, you can see that here. There's a bit of waiting here, but you can anticipate the steps that you've taken. There's something good. There's growth coming your way and there's an anticipation of that. Crowning thoughts, the hanged man. Yeah, like I said, there may be a little bit more waiting here with the hanged man. Um, sometimes the hanged man is a card of alignment. You can see that that trunk goes straight through the center of the card, waiting to be aligned to the path that you need to be on. So there may well be, it feels like something's happening here um, and it feels like a flurry of activity. And there is the positive transition that's happening in June. And then there may well be a little bit of waiting here, Aries, uh, for some of you. Um, it feels in this situation, 
you are moving forward though you are going in the right direction you are aligning to that right path you are aligning to greater wealth material abundance here but it definitely feels for some of you there's a kind of a flurry of activity and then maybe just something needs to play out maybe it could be to do with contracts being prepared or you know and uh, needing to meet other people you know and getting diaries aligned you know i mean it can be anything you understand what i'm saying but the hangman is just an energy of waiting for you know things to play out ducks to, to fall in line you know uh, things to be lined up so that you can actually release and move forward queen of cups is a card of happiness and fulfillment this is somebody who is so this is somebody who's coming towards you as well you could be dealing with, uh, I mean, this can sometimes be HR for me as a reader, the Queen of Cups, or you could be dealing with a Cancerian energy, Queen of Cups, male or female energy is a Cancerian. It feels in the near future, somebody is coming towards you that is bringing happiness and joy. Um, like I said, it feels like you might be meeting some important connection here and it feels in the not too distant future. So definitely somebody who is caring, compassionate, who you will probably connect to on a good level because you know the queen of cups connects to people on a on emotional level a deep level you know very intuitive energy so i definitely feel if this is somebody coming towards you it could be somebody that you connect with well who is bringing happiness your way um if this is you aries the queen of cups is somebody who is finding balance again happy balance um emotional balance you know and she is somebody who sits on the throne she waits for love to come her way she waits for happiness to come her way and she waits for the right kind of happiness to come her way so there's definitely an energy of, of whatever this hanged man is it will be worth it whatever the weight is it's going to be worth it and that's what you're being told yeah your fears. Will I get the offer? Will I get the opportunity? Will the message come through to me? There's definitely an energy of, yeah, it's coming. There is some positive, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Um, trust your intuition in this energy, Aries, because your intuition can anticipate something coming your way. Um, the steps that you've taken in, in, the, in the immediate past, it feels like they're going to pay off. And that's what you're being told because the Page of Cups is about things are about to look up. So don't worry nice energy and um seven of swords now this can be your environment energy i mean you know it can be a card of betrayal it can be a card of deceit the seven of swords but it might also be in this energy aries you know this might be people that you're connecting to um covertly you know you might be doing something in a covert manner so you might be keeping things to yourself secrets to yourself acting strategically for example we do that when we move from one job to another and we don't really like telling other people about it so whatever this seven of swords is for you there's definitely a message with this page of cups things are about to look up in your supporting energy um yeah it's a lovely energy i mean this is somebody who's acting strategically to advance themselves in some way so it definitely feels in this energy this is either um yeah, generally it's your environment how people will see you and obviously doing something covertly maybe that could be an energy um but it could also be in your environment you might have been let down by somebody as well your wish your ships are coming in this is the sun in aries so your 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 energy is is powerful in this reading aries the this is the first signs of success coming your way now when the three of wands appears it's not quite in the harbor yet those ships are coming in not quite in the harbor yet but you can see what you've been anticipating and taking steps towards in the immediate past you can see them coming your way this is your wish your hope your dream and it is coming your way and that's what spirit is telling you there is success on the horizon coming your way and it feels it's to do with this ten of pentacles there may well be more steps to take here with the three of wands but this is you in your power following your passion your drive from a position of being empowered and inspired knowing what you're focusing on and making happen in the future and taking steps to make it happen and there is definitely an energy of you're making it happen here aries again with that hanged man energy there may well just be it's coming towards you there's something absolutely beautiful coming towards you but there's definitely an energy of maybe a little bit of waiting there as well but that's your wish 
So the answer to your question, judgment, yeah, an energy of stepping into your light. This there's a karmic energy with judgments. So if the seven of swords in your environment was a negative influence, uh, deceit, betrayal, you know, uh, somebody acting, uh, you know, sneakily in some situation, there is definitely an energy of karma being your on your side. Karma writing a wrong here. Um, but something's going to happen. There is an event coming your way. And that's what judgment is telling you. It could be in the form of um, needing to make some kind of decision or choice. Uh, but the judgment is, is it, it feels that there is an opportunity for you to step out of the darkness into the light. This is an awakening energy connecting to your higher self. Um, where you're letting go of what needs to be let go of and allowing yourself to step forward and it feels in terms of the light where you need to be right now it feels absolutely beautiful that judgment energy again it can be about making a judgment call but aries you know what this card is it's a card of rebirth um it's a beautiful beautiful energy a card of rebirth um a call to action so something is happening that is requiring you to take action as well uh, but nevertheless that judgment energy just feels what you've been waiting for all of a sudden something is happening that you need to take action towards um because it's an opportunity for you to step into your light absolutely lovely energy so i'm going to pull you a final card aries that's what i have for you for your money and career reading very positive energy and it's a card of making it happen you're making it happen there may well be a little bit of waiting it feels there's a flurry and then there's a bit of waiting here but nevertheless that judgment card is it's going to happen the period of waiting is coming to a close and you will be stepping into your light and you're being told don't worry because the new is opening up for you the offer the opportunity things looking up yeah Final message for Aries, please, in money and career. Final message for Aries in money and career. Thank you. Final message for Aries in money and career. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have squirrel. The, you know, the squirrel is hardworking energy. And I do feel for some of you, what you've taken steps towards in the immediate past is going to pay off. Uh, so squirrel spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker you take care of you this month you make it happen through sheer hard work very nice energy indeed so i hope you enjoyed the reading aries if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you